The weekend has arrived. It's actually Sunday already. What are you guys up to this weekend? Working hard or? Hardly working. Right, Chevy? <laughs> Tough crowd, all right. And I hope the camera's picking this up. I'm not showing you my dirty window that I need to clean. Uh, there is some kind of substance falling from the sky. It is the first snowfall of the season. Frank. So, like I was saying, we work a lot, so we haven't had anything planned this Halloween. We haven't even actually gone out and done anything in a while other than uh, work. So we, we need to start uh, making plans of doing something other than just going to work and coming back. But we've been working really hard. We're trying to pay off the last of our debt and trying to prepare for our house build. So I have a feeling that this is sort of going to be the story of our lives uh, for the next few years yet while we're saving up. We want to build the house just like we want it. I don't want to have to like uh, cut things out of it because we're rushing it or because we want to move in or build sooner. I want to make sure that we get all of our bases covered. We get everything we want out of it so that we, uh, we're set for the rest of our lives. We don't want to move again after this. And I know I say that every time I move, but it's for real this time. We want to build it just right for us. So we can wait. And this house is big enough for us right now. I mean, it, it's it's very small. It's under 900 square feet. It has a uh, you know, kitchen dining room in one there. Small living room here. Nice big TV. That's all that matters, right? Got two bedrooms in the back. Uh, one bedroom right now is being used for the dogs and my uh, storage and my computer work and vlogs and stuff. It's the dog bed, my vlogging area and, and storage. And then, you know, our bedroom. So what else do you really need? It's a one bathroom. It'd be nice to have another bathroom or at least another uh, partial bathroom because one of us takes longer than the other to get ready in the mornings. I'm not going to say who. And the other one is sort of without a bathroom in the meantime. Unless if you know, they interrupt with whoever they are, interrupt what they're doing, and you get it, right? It's, it's very handy to have a second bathroom. And that's one thing we miss about our old house. We had, what do we have, one, two, three bathrooms? Yeah, we had three bathrooms in that house. That house was huge, way too big for us, and that's why we sold it. It was just, it was too much to take care of. It was very expensive. You know, we're paying to heat this ginormous house and paying property tax on this ginormous, like 18 acre property with a river running through it and a swimming pond. And it was beautiful. I, I love it. I, I loved it. I missed it. I miss it a lot, but the property tax kept going up, kept going up, kept going up because people were developing around us. And that was good. It kept raising our property value. So once the pandemic hit, People in the city with money, they wanted to leave the city. And we sort of took advantage of that and uh, seized the opportunity and put our house up for sale pretty much when the pandemic hit. Because I knew people would be trying to get away from congested areas, anyone who could. And it, we were right. The first day it was up for sale, the first people who came and looked at it, boom, sold for way more than we thought we'd get for it. Uh, so we were happy. Just the only thing then is that we had to find a house like this for less than what we wanted to pay. So everyone was trying to jack up prices of the houses. Uh, we found this house and we were sort of at the advantage because it's a very small house. You can't have a, a really large family in here. Since there's only two bedrooms, there's no basement. There's no second level. This is it. You can see the whole house from here. Look here, let's go stand in the corner over here again. You can see the whole house here. Go down the hallway. Oh, don't let the fisheye lens deceive you. I could almost reach that door over there from here. It's very small. So the advantage we had was that not it was a much smaller market looking for a house like this. Families, they want a bigger house because they got kids. And uh, this house had been on the market already for several, or for uh, several, but a few months. So I knew that they were having trouble selling it. Uh, we, I know that they had many, many showings of the house before we came to look at it, which means they were struggling to rope people in and, uh, you know, reel them in for the sale. So we came in and we offered uh, our offer, which they turned down at first because uh, it was a little bit low, lowballed it a bit. Uh, wanted to see where the floor was, where was the bottom, how low can you go? Because this is obviously house they, they that, that wouldn't sell. 
because of the size of it. They were moving out of province to another province. So they had to go because they had a job out there already. So I knew they had to sell quick and they were having trouble selling and they were getting frustrated. So in that situation, if you're smart, well, and have the help of family and friends and you see the signs you're like, all right, okay. So they're getting desperate to sell and they've been having problems selling. So you can see how low are you willing to let this thing go for? How desperate are you to get out of here? And we got a really, really good price on it. So we sold high, we bought low, and then we bought our land at the same time out of town. We've got uh, several acres out there, a nice big private area in the bush for us to build. So we have that investment. It's always good to invest into houses and land because that always, that when you put a certain amount of money into it, your money grows. Usually, that's the way it's supposed to work, right? Whereas when you invest into vehicles and cars, your money shrinks. So you always want assets that grow. You guys know this already and preach into the choir. But uh, yeah, that, that was the story of how we ended up in this house here. Uh, we got, we got a, really, a really good situation going on here and I don't want to mess it up and jump into building our house too soon because we, got, we finally got ourselves in a great financial position where we can get ahead if we're careful. I don't want to make a mistake that'll make us fall behind again. Okay, that's no fun. It wastes years of your life paying things off. You got to be careful and you still want to move forward. Anyways, I've been talking for quite a while here. It's a Sunday. I want to go check out our land today. Speaking of it. Guys, you guys want to come to the property? Diesel? Chevy? Want to go to the land? See what it's like? I'm sure all the leaves have fallen off already, so we'll be back to that wintry look seeing as oh it already stopped snowing since i was talking to you so it was just a, a brief snowfall i better get going before uh it starts up again all right so we're going to take the big boys to uh check out the land today I'll let you guys out here okay let's go out there and wait okay diesel you too i'll be right there okay so off we go boys chevy really doesn't like the car ride he loves going to the land and checking things out running around but he hates the process of getting there. Or is it process? The process of getting. How do you say it? Process, process? I always say process, but I've I've learned that I, I pronounce a lot of words wrong. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going on. So we'll go see, see how everything's doing down there. My mom and dad are uh, at their land right now too, which is a little ways away from us, just around the corner. And yesterday, dad and his friend, uh, Rob, they cleared a driveway into their bush. They didn't have a driveway and a clearing like we do on our land. Their land was just bush. They have a much bigger piece than we do. Uh, but they cleared a driveway all the way into the back. So I'm curious to see how, how well that worked out. And maybe now we'll be able to get more of a vision in our head of where the house will be built there. I'm not too sure if they're going to be going to be building or if they're just going to prepare the land for a build and then sell it uh, once it's ready because they just bought it it was just wild bushland all just wild trees and everything eh? but if they can they clear in a driveway and a clearing for a house they'll probably be able to get uh, get a pretty good penny for it because land is going like hotcakes out here right now like we were saying earlier everybody's trying to get away from people and we're no different <laughs> We don't live in a very big town, or apparently it's a city, but we still want to be further out, away from people. Not that we don't like people. We're social, but when it comes down to our home, our own property, our own land, our own kingdom, I want my own peace, undisturbed. I want to be able to sit on my deck and not have anybody bugging me. <laughs> and have a lot more space for these guys to run around in. So this is going to be my commute every day once we build. Be a bit of a longer drive in every day, but uh, you know, I don't mind. That's why I wanna do it right, like I was saying before. I wanna make sure we're prepared. Uh, may need to get into a different vehicle. Uh, this vehicle's paid off, like this truck has been paid off. So it, I gotta make sure that, you know, you can buy a new car that's better on fuel, but with the car payments and the fuel, may as well just keep the truck and pay the fuel right same price at the end of the day and this truck is way more useful than a car especially out here in the country uh, I need to make sure I can haul things and do things and I need four-wheel drive 
So I'll most likely just keep the truck and keep this thing running. It's got 107,000 kilometers on it right now. And what is that, like 650,000 miles? Oh, she'll go for a long time yet. Just gotta take care of her and fix her up when she needs it. Fix small problems before they become big problems. And it'll go a long time yet. Yep, all the leaves have fallen down already. Hey boys, come on guys, get your energy out. Yeah, so the grass did grow a little bit higher again. Haven't gotten a chance to mow it down, but it is a lot better than it was at the beginning of the year. If you remember from last year at this time, this was all bush about six feet high in this area here. Hey guys. <laughs> Everything looks a lot more familiar because we spent a lot of time here in, in the winter time just checking on things. And uh, in springtime, this summer was our first full summer owning this place. So it was nice to see it all full of leaves, but this is sort of how it looks more familiar to me. So I spent more time here without leaves on the trees than with leaves. Campers here, all in order. Hey Diesel, you don't smell anything suspicious, do you? Check around the back. And I need to mow this down again. I have to do that in spring. Yeah, everything is as it should be. Just check around the back and that'll be that. There we go. Hey, Weasel. My plan is to sort of turn this into like a, well, while we're working here, I want to be able to uh, uh, keep cool in the camper here on the hot summer days. So I can bring my generator here and get the air conditioning running at least, because it gets really hot here. Yeah, everything's looking good. Want to go for a little walk in the bush, guys? After this, we're going to go check out my mom and dad's site there. and They're over there right now. I'd love to see how it all turned out. They had rented a, a mini excavator and used it all day yesterday. And I'm very curious to see what kind of job it, they got done with it because I'd like to rent the same one next summer for here. Dig out all of those roots and stumps. Yep, my brain is turning into dream mode right now. Dreaming how this is all gonna look. And the back of the house will be facing this way into this bush here. We, there's no neighbors to be seen or anything. We'll have a nice big clearing back here for like a gathering space, a fire pit. Don't worry, it'll, it'll be like big enough that it'll be safe. But uh, little trails leading through here. Nicely groomed and packed. Well, we're coming down the brand new driveway. Yeah, right into the wilderness. <laughs> Hello yeah. there. Dad's taking us down. He's got the four-wheel drive on, I think. Me and my nephew opened it up yesterday, just roughly uh, yes. bulldozer with a bulldozer and excavator. Just kind of plowed our way through here. It's yeah. very narrow, eh? I'm mom along for the ride, too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not too much extra room given here. No. So that little excavator could move all of this, eh? Yeah. That was amazing what that excavator could do. That's amazing. Don't oh, worry about it. <laughs> Even if he does get stuck, I got my truck here. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll get it up. Oops. Oh. <laughs> it just. Oh. It's not smoothing out at all yet. It's, well, we did it as good as we could just by quickly roughing it with the machinery. This is where we're going. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's gonna look great once That's you clear out a spot. See, this is the kind of stuff we have underneath it on this part. That's no good, no good stuff. Oh, no. No, I just sand. That's awful. Oh, that wouldn't even make a garden. No, that wouldn't make a garden. That, that, that doesn't pack either, because we can't use that as gravel uh, to build up. How do you clean up all this stuff? In machines. Yeah, if you can't put it on a pilot and burn it. Oh. Okay. And somewhere out here you'll clear open a big spot for your house. Oh boy. <laughs> scratching your truck. Yeah. It's a bush truck. Yeah. It is now. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I guess you thought of going that way? Big stones everywhere. Yeah, we would, but that that 
it's uh, kind of a little uh, area there too. Oh, okay. It looks a bit higher. He went in, was going to go that way, but he, then he noticed that there were, he could see a house there, and that's where the drainage canal is. Oh, okay, so you don't want to go that way. Yeah, we don't want to go that way, and we don't, didn't want to make anything open because there's a four wheelers going around that canal. Oh, okay. Street, and we didn't want to give them uh, any idea of coming through our property. Oh, okay. See any trails. You're just pretty good already. There's packing gravel in here already, yeah? Oh, okay. This kind of gravel that you could actually... Uh, oh, that's what you dug up there? Yeah. He, every once in a while he dug away other ways in. But it's just only about two to three, two to three feet layer of gravel, and then there's that slimy sand again, right? Oh, okay. And just a few doors down here, they have nothing but gravel underneath this, this black rock. This is not a five way. Jeez, that you're going to make a straight road in. I knew he was going to make it through, but I, I didn't know he was going to make it this zigzaggy. This is crazy how curvy this is. Stump sticking out here. Oh, yeah. You forgot about that. No, that was just my phone. Gotta make sure we miss those. Whew. Just. Okay. <laughs> this is all theirs. They got a big piece out here, but got lots of rocks. That's, Lots of rocks all over the place, yeah. And they dug down to see what the soil was like. And it's pretty low-lying ground, apparently. So there's the water level. Probably four feet down. Yeah. That's in this part. It's, no good. it's mostly sand here again, because we can't use that dirt for any kind of building up a, a section of land where we would want to put the house. Because mm -hmm. this doesn't pack proper. And you'd have to bring in some foundation. Yeah. Yes. All right. And then people in this area, they don't usually have basements because the water level is pretty high. At least you got water. No Lots of water. water here. Yeah. <laughs> you need that. So, Mom, what do you think? Uh, I don't know about this. <laughs> <laughs> too much in the bush for you? Oh, yeah. This is too much in the bush. <laughs> Turned into a city girl. A little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. Got used to all the services and everything. I know, eh? Yeah, this, uh, the, all the cleanup scares me. Yeah. It's too much. You'd have to hire people. Mm -hmm. That's a lot to take care of. And we made it back home. The dogs didn't get too dirty. That's good. The little guys, maybe they'll come along next time. And they don't really need the big land to run around and to get their energy out. This yard is pretty big for, for those little guys, so they get their energy running. Get their energy out running around here. But the big guys, it's nice to take them to the wide open spaces every now and then. So mom and dad's property, uh, they made some good progress there. And got the driveway in all the way to the back. I don't think they're actually going to be building their house that far back into the bush. But I guess they wanted access all the way to the back so that they can get back there. If they want to do some work or... I start clearing it for, I don't know, whatever they want to put back there. But yeah, the first big step is done. And then we'll see what they do with it from here. Whether or not they uh, pick a spot to build a house or if they sell the land. Not too sure what uh, what their plans are right now, but I'm sure it'll be good.